Thank you, Deputy Humphries. Uh, thank you, uh, Tisha, for uh, trying to try be brief. Just in relation to the referendum, uh, it's 2.1 million uh, provision for the referendum, the abolition of the Senate. I just couldn't see uh, a figure for uh, an information campaign, and the previous referendum was about 2, 2 million put in it to an information campaign. Uh, just in relation to, to travel, and I absolutely take that the uh, government has been very uh, careful in its travel policy and making sure they're getting be best value. But the other element is, is, is there an element of possibly, and I'm just asking you to look at this, that we're being too politically correct because uh, the state jet, the pilot has to get, get certain air miles up, uh, the jet has to take off, and I know that the freedom of information questions how much did it cost in it for X number of miles the government jet, but could we actually be costing ourselves money by allowing the state jet to actually, the pilot to do air miles without passengers? Can I just ask you then, just also on the fees for the council, am I understanding it correctly that there were several reductions that's outlined in your document, uh, bringing a reduction in the fees to council? But what we have seen in the estimates is about 12.5 million, and that's because they've taken on additional work. So really, are we looking at the council's uh, adjusting their work rate or the amount of work they're taking on uh, and still getting an, in an increase in salary? Can also, can I ask you, which was one of my hobby horses and one something I'm very concerned about, is the IFSC Clearinghouse Committee. Uh, obviously, I, I've always had concerns about the access they've had at top, le top level, but it's been recently commented on, is now that a duplication? When you, we look at the number of state services that interconnect with the IFSC, uh, is there a need for that clearinghouse group to get access at such a high level? And finally, um, in relation to the uh, Morality Tribunal and the costs that are outstanding to, uh, uh, to payments to mayors of Hohi and Lowry, I take it to political representatives. But, uh, Minister Art Tishak, would I could I ask you to consider uh, putting in an additional estimate to allow the Morality Tribunal to actually relook at the tapes that were published in the Sunday Independent. I think it is a matter of public interest that a small section should be taken to look at those tapes, to see is that new information, and should it be reviewed, and should it be an estimate, a provision be made in your estimates to do that. Thank, Thank you, Chair. Uh, Deputy Mayor. The reduction in fees there for Council, that's because of the volume of work increasing. Uh, the 12.5 million uh, is because they're doing more work uh, in, with, with, with increased volume. Uh, the state services in the of the IFSC, well, the minutes of all these are published. Uh, they're published on the website. The yeah. Um, well, the implications, I think, are, you know, uh, I meet with them. The, the, the Secretary General here chairs the clearinghouse group of the IFSC. And I've had occasion myself to meet with um, um, representatives of the um, of the companies involved in the IFSC to say to them look is there a, is there an issue here about um, uh, uh, over extensive regulation is there something that is of concern to you and I, I met them I think maybe maybe two or three times since my appointment but there is a regular meeting with the secretary general and those meetings are all those minutes are published so we're concerned obviously that in regard to um, the mobile assets of uh, of the financial world. That it's important that what has grown up here in in Dublin uh, be retained and be strengthened. And I think I think when you consider that we're now the only English-speaking country of the eurozone that our people give a 60-40 verdict in respect of the Fiscal Stability Treaty, uh, that there's a very strong opportunity for continued investment in the um, in the financial services world here in Dublin. And I have to say, I have a continuous stream of inquiries about that. Minister of Finance and the IDA I talk to these people on a regular basis. So your, your question is a valid question, and we're, 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 we're conscious of that. Um, I don't intend to reopen the Moriarty Tribunal. Um, this is something, this is a tribunal that sat for very many years and reported finally. Uh, third party costs have been looked at. And as I said in answer to questions in the Dáil, if somebody out there has more information that's relevant to Moriarty, then they should bring it to the authorities, and they should bring it to the authorities quickly. Um, we've 
you know, the, while, w when you appoint um, a tribunal uh, and a, a sole um, person in charge of that, that person then has absolute independence in the way they do their business. Um, and obviously we're anxious that uh, existing tribunals would come to, you know, um, a close without being pressurised to do so. And that's why, for instance, in, in the case of uh, Smithick, uh, the government looked for interim reports to have a fix on where this old person is moving with the... Uh, with clarify the question, would that be okay? Uh, the, 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 the clarity, the, the question I was really asking is could there is certain there is real concern out there about what was what was published and most people listen to the tapes and really what i was asking is the the tribunal at sap is most familiar with the evidence that was given really what i was saying is there an element that we could see whether this is information that was already assessed by the tribunal or not well, is is there availability to do that to make provision in your estimates for that I think the guards are examining that at the moment now. And uh, obviously, it's not for me to comment on an investigation that's taken place by the Gardaí, but I, I, I understand your question. Um, in respect of what Deputy Murphy raised here, about